I think right there. Yeah, she's ready. Okay. Okay. Um, Yes, uh, let's see. Testing. <laughs> Testing. One, two, three. Yeah, it's good. We haven't got it on yet, but it's going to sit there. All right. It's all right now. You sitting in your chair or you want to sit there? No, no, you good. You sitting right there? Uh, it, don't, it don't matter to me now. I brought the chair. But Be all right. You can, uh, you, I can welcome. stay.
Smith Langdon Homes has been serving the Southeast since 2003 and are the experts for all your real estate needs. Our newest location is at 127 North Street, Cleveland, Mississippi. You can find us online at TomSmithLandonHomes.com to browse our property listings.
Okay, Bioacademy Colt fans, your Bioacademy Colts are over here in Grenada, Mississippi. We're fixing to battle the Kirk Raiders. They will be dressed in all red with the white pant. Looking good over here in Grenada County. We've got a beautiful field. Everything is set on go. The Bio Academy are going to be in their gray uniform with their royal blue lettering. The Bio Academy Colts are coming off a win against the North Delta team where Bio Academy won the game six to five in the first game and they won by a score of five to three in the second game. So getting started early in the season, it is a little bit cool over here. I'm standing here with Lake Cox and Lynn Harden, bringing you this broadcast live from Kirkfield, Grenada, Mississippi. It's gonna be just a few minutes before we get the game started. Thought you'd just update you on what was going on in the world of baseball. Bio Academy Colts will be traveling back to Grenada in the morning, 11 o'clock game. Don't forget that one. Put it on your calendar and be looking for the Colt baseball. We're going to be playing the Grenada team. Uh, Lake, are you familiar with the, the Red Raiders? I believe that's the right. The Red Raiders yeah. of Grenada. That's right. So we're playing two Raiders in no, a row. No, oh, you're talking about Grenada. I'm sorry. Yeah, in the morning. The morning the game. Morning. You're right. This is the Red I knew this was the Raider team. But about in the morning, I didn't know what Grenada. But anyway, it's Grenada High School. It's not going to be the same team. We do know that. It's going to be a different location. Uh, it's very nice over here. You've got the trees in the outfield, as you can probably see from the new camera that Lynn Harden and Lake Cox has set up, giving you a very a, a better viewpoint. The trees are high in the background, the American flag right dead center of center field at 365 feet. 320 on the corners. It's gonna make for maybe a couple home runs getting out here today. A little bit smaller field. And as usual, all your bases are 90 feet apart. We're waiting on the national anthem and getting fired up for the game. Coach D. Haynes has his team in a huddle out on the third base side of things, and he's giving them their last and final instructions. So, so far, the Bio Academy Colts have had a terrific trip over here. We're glad that you are watching. It's going to be a good one. So you hang in there. And uh, Lake Cox and Joey Mallet will be back with you in five minutes. You know what beats next day shipping? Getting it the same day. So shop Ace online and get free in-store or curbside pickup right in your neighborhood. Or get what you need delivered the very same day you order. Ace is the place with the helpful hardware, folks.
Welcome, my friends, to the Bayou Academy baseball game. We're over in Kirk, where we're getting ready to play the Kirk Raiders, your favorite Bayou Academy coach. Coach D. Haynes, as you can see, is at the home plate, talking it over with the umpires, turning in his lineup, getting everything ready. We're glad to have you here. I'm alongside Lake Cox, as he is doing the technical directing today. Got a new camera set up for you. We've got all the audio set up for you. It should give you a crystal clear picture of what's going on in our world today. Red shirts, white pants are the Kirk Academy Raiders. The gray uniforms with the royal blue are your Bio Academy Colts. It is February the 17th, sun shining on the Field of Dreams. We've got the nice clay dirt. It is spread throughout. They've done a good job manicuring the field. Not as green as you might want to like it, but we are still in the winter. Man, excitement's in the air, I'm tell you what. I'm gonna go ahead and go over the lineup with you. So here it comes. I'm looking at leadoff batter is Brandon Daniels. He's playing center field at number 27, Brandon Daniels, batting second. Austin Bats, number 11, is at the catcher position. Batting third, Marshall Weaver, number 21, at second base. In the fourth position, the big hitter, Brazier Cox, number six for the Bayou Academy Colts, and he will be playing first base. Our pitcher, starting pitcher, number 17, Spencer Harden. In the sixth slot, we have number one, Bo Linkus. And he will be playing shortstop. Out in the outfield, number 15, and batting in the seventh position, Carson Allen. Batting eighth and playing third base for the Bayou Academy Colts. Number 13, Ryan Dawson Mallet. And number nine batter, wearing the jersey of number 12, is one Reed Holman. He will be playing left field. I'd like to welcome y'all back to Raider Field. I wanted to today. slow that down First for you. We're getting ready for the national all, anthem. Going to say a little prayer and do the national Baseball, anthem. Number 27. And we'll be ready to go. Center fielder, Daniel. Number 11, catcher, Bats. Number 21, second baseman, Weaver. Number 6, first baseman, Cox. Number 17, Pitcher, Harding. Number one, shortstop, Linkus. Number 15, right fielder, Allen. Your designated hitter is number 13, Mallet. Number 12, your left fielder, Holman. And the rest of the Bio Academy Colts. And there you have it. It is the Bio Academy Colts. And now for your Kirk Academy Raiders. Leading off, number four, second baseman, Anthony Corolla. Number five, center fielder, Noah Jackson. Your shortstop, number three, Hudson Maddox. Third baseman, number 10, Carter Hathcock. Left fielder, number six, Lane Dolph. Your pitcher tonight, number 20, Landon Rice. 
Designated hitter, number eight, Logan Pratt. First baseman, number two, Gage Griffin. Catcher, number 12, Aiden Noah. The right fielder, number nine, Mitchell Madden. And the rest of the Kirk Academy Raiders. All right, we'd ask that everybody stand and remove your headgear. The prayer national anthem. <coughs> Heavenly Father, thank you for this day. Thank you for the great sport of baseball. Lord, we ask that you watch over these players as they're playing on the field. Watch over the coaches and the umpires, Lord. We ask that you give us all traveling mercies when we go home. Lord, we just thank you for what you've done for us, for sending your son to die on the cross so that we can live eternal life. Lord, we ask these things in Jesus' name. Amen. And there you have it, the national anthem has been played. And the Bayou Academy Colts are ready for some baseball. As we know, you are at home. The Bayou Academy Colts will be starting off the visitors. We batting, batting first is Brandon Daniels, number 27. It's an outstanding athlete, came over from North Sunflower. Participated in all sports over there. Baseball, football, track, the whole nine yards. A lot of speed on this kid, a lot of speed. Watch him, if he can get a piece of that baseball, it'd be like a flash going down to first base. Good looking kid. In the second position is gonna be Austin Bats. Of course, Austin Bats, the son of Rodney Bats, who is your Delta State Fighting Okra, or the Statesman, as they call it, baseball coach. Very good looking athlete. Catcher position, he's got it down pat. He's got a strong, strong arm. Batting in the third position, it's gonna be Marshall Weaver. He's playing second base. Marshall is a gamer. He's gonna give you all he's got. And in the fourth position, is going to be Brazier Cox, number six. Good looking first baseman over there. Golden Glove, Brazier Cox. He's got a good strong bat. He's going to be heading us up in the four hole. So let's get ready for some baseball. As Rodney Martin is going around, he'll be your first base coach. Standing in at third base is, well, of course, the head coach, D. Haynes, All-American baseball player, had the home run record over at Delta State, played for the Cardinals organization for many years, and we are so lucky to have his expertise and experience on the baseball diamond. His assistant is also Brent Langston and Jason Harris. Here comes the first pitch. Fastball. Just missed in the outside corner. Ball one. Brandon Daniel stands in. There's the pitch. Swing and a miss. Pretty good heat 
from the Kurt pitcher. Old Kurt Rader. Brandon digs his cleats into the batter's box. Counts one and one. There's the pitch, it's hit right up the middle. It's gonna be close at first, it's missed. And as I told you before, the pitcher came off of his ankle up into the air, down onto the turf, and he fires it to first, but not before the fleet of foot. Brandon Daniels can reach first base. That's why you wanna get that speed off on your first batter's late. A lot of times, that speed comes in a lot of it, a real handy. Of course, we're trying to take second base now to get in scoring position. As Lake Cox says, speed does kill. And that was a lot of speed right there. It's gonna get him a good lead. We have our number two batter taking the box. It's gonna be Austin Batts. Good looking specimen of an athlete. Number 11, Austin Batts. Here comes the pitch. Ball outside. He fires it down. But again, that speed gets it to second base. We're now in scoring position, Lake. That's where we want to be. Good move. Got a good jump off the ball there. And Bats was taken all the way. The ball was deep outside. So ball one, no strikes. Here comes the pitch. Ball two. Austin Bats, no stranger to the pressure. One crack of the bat and Bio Academy can take a one run lead. That's what we're looking for here. Two balls, no strikes. Oh, that ball is up, up and away. Three balls and no strikes. Good eye for Austin Bats. Big lead off of second base. Brandon Daniels, number 27, is on second base. Here comes the pitch, three and oh. No. Whoa, he calls it a strike. No, no, he calls him, he pulls him down. I was gonna say, it didn't look like a strike to me. It was way outside. And that was four pitches in a row. Balls. The coach will come out and have a word with his pitcher. We've got a pinch runner coming in, and let me tell you something. These are two of the fastest kids at school. We got Aiden Borganelli, number three, is on first base. Brandon Daniels is at second base as Austin Bats comes in. He's getting relieved. He is our catcher for the evening. Now at bat number 21, he could do some damage right here. That's old Marshall Weaver. Marshall Weaver. He's a gamer. He's come through in the clutch many times. And this is gonna be one of the times. He looks down at third, he gets a signal from Coach D, and he's ready to bat. Number 21, can he make them pay the price? We're putting two on early, no outs. First pitch. Oh, he goes for the bunt. It was a half-hearted attempt at the bunt, but he was trying to move the runners around there. Strike one. No balls, one strike. Not a bad idea there, Lake. Umpire calls out 0-1. Gets the signal from D. Haynes. Let's see if they will stay with the bunt call or will he go with swing away. Got your speedsters on base. Aiden Borgnelli at first, Brandon Daniels at second. Here comes the pitch. Oh, good hard swing and a miss. That was a nice pitch, about belt high, right over the outside corner of the plate. Marshall Weaver shakes it off. Pressure on, no balls, two strikes. Let's see if he tries to work the batter here. Came with a little wrinkle there, a little bit high and inside. Ball one, two strikes. He is in a defense mode here. Marshall Weaver needs to hit the barrel of that bat. Try to score these two runs for the Bio Academy Colts. Here comes the pitch. The ball was low and in the dirt there. 
Good eye for Marshall Weaver. Two balls, two strikes. <laughs> and here comes the pitch. Oh, he gets a piece of it. It's good as a bunt. Perfect down the third base line. What a piece of batting for number 21, Marshall Weaver. As he gets what the coach requested, Lake, on the first one, he basically a good bunt down the third base line. No play at any base. Loads of bases up for Bio Academy. And the umpires are consulting each other. I tell you what, that is tough. The pitcher had to come off the mound. He was doing a very good job with his pitches there. But Marshall Weaver puts an end to that. No outs. The bases are full. Hey, be ready to hit, Six. Let's go. And we've got three pitchers. And who's up to bat? It is Brazier Cox, the number four hitter. He's got to come in and do his job. There's the pitch. It's good. It's up the middle. They're going to try to turn two. He swings. Oh, just in the nick of time, but not before the run could score. The Bio Academy Colts, they will get a run as Brazier Cox fires a good hit up the middle. Unfortunately for us, it was went into a double play. We'll take the one run, though, and we'll take the lead in the first inning. We have Aiden Borganelli in scoring position at third as Spencer Harden, number 17, walks into the batter's box. And here comes this pitch to Spence. He rock. Fireball right down Main Street. Strike one. No balls. Need to get this run in for third. Here we go. There's the pitch. Just a little bit outside. Good eye for Spencer Harden. Number 17 is a good athlete. Multi-sports player. Won awards in many sports. He's at the plate. One ball, one strike. There it is. Oh, just off the bat of Spencer Harden. He just got under the ball, fouls it back off the first baseline. Two strikes. One ball and two strikes. Pressure's on. Pitcher has the edge here. Getting the signal from the catcher. And here comes the pitch. Oh! Caught him swinging. The Bio Academy Colts didn't come out with exactly what they wanted. We do have the lead, one to nothing, but we had bases loaded with no outs. Our four and five hole hitters come up, and we couldn't produce the numbers that we may have liked to have. But nonetheless, we are in the lead, one to nothing, and we were.
Okay. And we are back live at Grenada Kirk Academy. Your Bio Academy Colts have the lead one to nothing. On the mound for the Bio Academy Colts is one Spencer Holden. Not Spencer Holden. Spencer Harden. Number 17 had a good outing at North Delta and he's our lead pitcher this afternoon. Batting for Kirk is their leadoff batter, number four. There's the pitch. Gets a piece of it. It's going to be strike two. No balls and two strikes. The Red Raiders of Kirk can breathe a sigh of relief as the Bio Academy Colts had bases loaded with no outs, and they wind up with a one run. That's a fortunate turn of events for Kirk Academy. Bio Academy. No balls, two strikes. Here comes the pitch. Good pitch, just a little high, a little high. Not a bad pitch, though. No balls, two strike. The pitch was a little high, so it was one ball and two strikes now. Spencer Harden, ready, gets the signal from the catcher. Throws a nasty slider. Two balls, two strikes. Not bad, pretty good position. Spencer's relaxing a little bit. Full count. Number four, the leadoff batter for Kirk, trying to get on base. Here comes the pitch. Oh, a little bit high, a little bit high. They get the man on first. At the first base position is Brazier Cox. At the second base number five, position, you have Marshall Weaver. Bo Lankas is at, at shortstop. Ryan Dawson Mallet is it. Third base. Your catcher position is occupied by number 11, Austin Bats. Man on first. Two hole hitter up. Right. Spencer Harden finds his groove there, fires in a fastball for strike one. That's a good one to jump up on. You want to get that lead position. One strike, no ball. Foul ball. That foul ball brought to you by the hard department store. Feeling a little more comfortable. Getting started. We're in the first inning. In the outfield, you have Reed Holman. And it is hit to Reed Holman. Deep, deep ball. Catches it. Fires it in to Bo Lankus. Good, good job. Good pitch by Spencer Harden. And a good catch by Reed Holman, number 12. As he hauls that one in for out number one. Your center field position is occupied by Brandon Daniels, number 27. And your right field is number nine, Carson Allen. Got a lot of speed in the outfield. Man on first for Kirk. Here comes the pitch. I'm going to tell you that one was a little bit below the belt. It looked perfect pitch to me, but didn't get the call. It's okay. Ball one. Strike none. Here comes the throw. Yes! Oh, just off the glove of Bo Lankus. Great throw by Austin Bats. He had that ball steaming down through there. Looked like he was going to be out, but not to be. That was off the glove of Weaver, not Bo Lankus. Swing and a miss. Kirk has got him a man in scoring position on second. Harden is battling at the mound. He's got two balls, one strike. Just need a play here. About a six foot two athlete in the box. Good looking athlete for Kirk. Here comes a pitch. Ah! Spencer put a little mustard on that one. That ball was coming in hot and heavy, and number three couldn't handle it. 
Two balls, two strikes for your Bio Academy Colts. They're volleying between second base and short over there, trying to keep the man in position. And that's the kind of play you want to see from a pitcher. Number 17, Spencer Harden puts that one in there, sets the Kirk Raider down for out number two. Good hold over there. Spencer Harden, he kept the runner in check, not letting him get too big of a lead. And then he turns around and fires in a strike. Good pitch, number 17, Spencer Harden. Now this is their four hole hitter, number 10. He wreck, number two. Now, now Spencer can work around him now. He's not gonna give him anything to look at really. He's gonna play that plate. It batters at a big dif disadvantage thanks to the pitching, Spencer Harden. There it is. Balls. Ball goes out into left field. The run will score to tie the game. It's one to one. No balls, two strikes. Spencer Hart. Hey, way ahead right here, one Sam. Let's go, kid. Not bad. Two balls, two strikes. Academy looking to get out of the inning. Here comes the pitch. Full count. Austin Batts gets the signal from the bench. Gives it to the pitcher. There's the pitch. Swing and a miss. G right three. And that will end your first inning. The score right, is the score all knotted up, one to one. One to one. Bow Academy Colts ready for battle. As the music comes into play, let's get ready for inning number two. Up at bat will be the fifth hole. Okay, in the six hole position is Bo Linkus, number one. Good looking athlete, ready for the pitch. Here it comes. Here it is, he gets a little piece of it. Comes off of his foot as he hobbles back to the batter's box. Bo Linkus trying to shake it off. No balls, one strike. We are in the second inning. Your score is all tied up, one to one.
Carson Allen is in the on deck circle. Curve ball, down and low. Ball one, strike one. Bo Link is ready. There's the pitch, and it's a hits to the shortstop. He backhands it. He throws it over to first. Is it in time? Yes, it is. One out. Pretty good stride for Bo Link as he was coming down that Number first baseline, just not in time. Come on, go. Here we go. Shortstop's got a good arm for Kirk. Carson Allen, number 15, is your batter. Pitcher looks him down. Carson Allen ready. Ball high. Chest level there. Carson has a great looking swing. He just got in off of soccer and he's been just crushing the ball at practice in the last couple of days. Let's see if he can produce here. Gets a little piece of it. Evens it out. Ball one, strike one. Top of the second inning. Bio Academy Colts at bat. Ryan Dawson Mallet in your own deck circle, number 13. Bio Academy trying to get something started here. We need to get Carson Allen on and then try to move him around. He takes the batter's box with confidence. Looks down the pitcher. Ball one, strike one. Here comes the pitch. Carson takes the fastball right across the heart of the plate. One ball, two strikes. One out. Ball outside. Two balls, two strikes. Bow Academy has recorded the one out as Bo Linkus was thrown out at first from the shortstop position. Carson Allen is your batter now. And here comes the pitch. There it is. Carson gets a little piece of it to the shortstop. Bobbles it, but able to throw him out as Carson Allen hustles down the line, just not in time. Kirk records the second out of the inning. Need something started here. Lake, I was looking at the fences down the lines, 320 down the lines. Had a good chance of maybe someone getting one out this evening. Maybe it would be young uh, Ryan Dawson Mallet, number 13 here. There it is. Oh right there, baby. Right up the middle. He hammers it. Great hit for number 13, Ryan Dawson Mallet. Number 12. He hit that one in the teeth, Blake. Nice, nice shot. It's a fastball right where he wanted it. And he jumped on it. We got a man on first for Bible Academy, and that's always a good thing. Now here we go with Reed Holman, number 12. I'm gonna tell you what, Reed Holman's got a good eye on baseball. Plays a lot of positions. He's no stranger. Here he comes. Reed Holman's dad played at Delta State along with several other dads out here today. Number 12, Reed Holman waits on the pitch. There it is. He clocks it. No balls, one strike. Just off, just under the ball. Just under the ball. Getting a good feel of the pitcher now. Got his eye on it. Got good balance at the plate. They tried to make a pickoff move over at first twice. Not successful. Reed Holt, number 12. Power is in his hand. He can move the base runner around. It's a good solid hit right here. Checks him at first. Here comes the pitch. And there's the pitch. Oh, he's trying to throw him out. It comes. Oh, 
Ryan Dawson Mallet tries to get the steal in. He got the steal sign from Coach D. Haynes. He runs it down. He dives out like a Superman dive into the dirt. And he had him out about two feet there, Lake. The old catcher has a pretty good arm on him. He came up fine. It's kind of what it looked like to me, too, but I couldn't tell from my position. Let's go, let's go, let's go. The Bioacademy Colts one to one is your score. We're in the bottom of the second inning as the Red Raiders of Kirk Academy come up to bat. Number six is the fifth hole batter. Umpire gives the hold up signal. Spencer Harden ready to fire. Here comes the pitch. Ball one. One ball, no strikes. Brazier Cox ready at first. Marshall Weaver setting in ready at second base. There's the pitch, and it's a good one. Strike one. One and one is your count. Bow Academy Colts came out ready to play. They came out swinging today. So far, left a lot of men on base, but they all ready. Good pitch, slider. Harden throws it in, goes up in the count. One ball, two strikes. Bo Link is at your shortstop position. Ryan Dawson Mallet at third base. And behind the plate, Austin Bats. Pretty good pitch there. Two balls, two strikes. He broke it off on him. It looked really well. Three balls, two strikes, full count. Battle between the batter and the pitcher here. Here it comes. There it is right there. And a beautiful pitch right down Main Street. Bow Academy Colts set down the number six batter for the first out of the inning. We hope you're enjoying this from home. I'm alongside Lake Cox and Lynn Harden here at Grenada, Mississippi. Bottom of the second inning, tie score, one to one. Lake, it could stand to be a little bit warmer, but it's a great game nonetheless. A lot of excitement in the air here. My goodness, my goodness, well, it's early in the season, but two balls, no strikes. Come and get it. Brandon Daniels is on the run. And it falls to a hit. Man on first, base hit. Courtesy runner, number 30, Ty Davis. Number eight for your Red Raiders up to bat. Spencer Harden talking over with the umpire. The location of that ball looked pretty good from up here, but. Didn't go 
on as such. Man on first. Let's see if they can move the base runner around a second. One out for the Red Raiders. Gets the signal. Checks the runner at first. Oh! Oh! Pretty good pickoff move over there. Brazier Cox fires it back into the pitcher. And they're ready for the next pitch. No balls, no strikes. Tie score one to one in the bottom of the second inning. Mm. If he's missing, it's not by much, just millimeters. He called the ball a little bit low. Pretty good pitch. Two balls, no strikes. Man on first. Big pitch coming up here. That's what we needed right there. What we needed is what Spencer Harden delivered, which was a strike. One ball, one strike. Let's see if the Red Raider wants to take a crack at this one. Number eight in the box. Here comes the pitch. He's just holding him in place. Good pickoff move there. Want to keep those runners close to the base. Give them a little bit longer to run when you throw them out at second. Here we go. Here comes the pitch. Two balls, one strike. Hey, let's go, Spence. Marshall Weaver, Bo Linkus sitting ready over at shortstop in second. Austin Bats ready to make his attempt at a throw out. Boom! There's the swing. It's a foul ball down the third base side. Getting a little chilly out here in the hill area. Good night. The dugouts chanting from the right side of the field. Hold up, they say. Time. Spencer steps off the mound. Trying to get a little chatter going. Trying to rock the pitcher. Let's see if it has any effect. What a drop. Good pitch there. Full count. Man on first base. One out. Bottom of the second inning. Full count. It's going to be a battle between the batter and the pitcher now. Runners going. And it's fouled way back. Good pitch for Spencer That's Harden. That's brought to you by Ratliff Water Well Service. <laughs> Looks back the man at first. Here comes the pitch. He strides out. Time. Steps out of the box. Spencer regroups, getting a sign from Austin Bats. Looks like he likes the sign. Checks him back at first, and here comes the pitch. Ha! Woo! Right down Main Street. How do you like that? If you're a Bio Academy Colt, you got to feel pretty proud right there. Coming through in the clutch. Full oh, count, and he throws a strike. Lake, we needed that. What a good pitch by Harden on that play. Man on first base, two down now. Looking for the last out of the inning. Let's see if Harden can reach back and get him. He holds the man on at first. Good idea over there. Strike. That's what you want to see. Get that first strike. Put the batter in an in position. No balls, one strike. We're in the second inning. Bottom of the second, two outs. Looking for that third and final out to retire the side. Spencer Harden, been on fire tonight. Pitching great. 
There's a deep hit to center field. It's Brandon Daniels running under it. And he is out. And that will be the final out of the inning. It will retire the inning. Good pitch by Harden, good catch by Daniels, and the Bio Academy Colts are ready for action. Reed Holman back at the plate. He was stranded at the plate as Ryan Dawson Mallet got thrown out at second in the last inning. So Reed will come back in at bat. Number 12, Reed Holman. There's a swing. Crushed the ball over the left ball. field My side. Ball. He didn't know it. Jefferson He's gonna go for strike one. Ball, no balls, one strike, all tied up. One to one in the top of the third. Reed Holman stares the pitcher down. Here comes the pitcher. He strides out. There's the pitch. Ball. One and one. Tell you what, Bio Academy is loaded with talent this year. A lot of speed. A lot of talent. Shortstop is Bo Linkus. His dad is Rob Linkus, who used to pitch for the late great Boo Barris. What a coach. There's a swing, hard hit. Oh, my goodness. Oh! I'll tell you what, that ball was hot to handle, let me tell you. The third baseman just barely got his glove down, and bam, it hit off the infield grass and into his glove. He makes a wild throw, goes over to the dugout. So good hit by Reed Holman, and the ball went arid. Reed winds up at second base, and just like that, the Bio Academy Colts are in scoring position. And guess what? We are at the leadoff. Number 27, Brandon Daniels. Let's see what Brandon can do with the ball here. Got a man in scoring position early, no outs. Score tied at one to one. If you're listening from home, we appreciate it. Ball one. No strikes. Lake Cox, your technical director, he's got a beautiful screen in front of you that you're seeing. This is our new camera system. Everything's set up just right. The Bio Academy Colts are all knotted up with a chance to take the lead. Reed Holman at second base got a good lead at second. Brandon Daniels is your batter. And here comes the pitch. That's two in a row. He tries to get that bunt down been unsuccessful so far. One ball, one strike. The sun is setting over here in the hill area of Grenada, Mississippi. 
Number 27 for the Bio Academy Colts, ready to put the ball in play. And there it is again. Whoo! He needed that one right there. That one just came over the top of the ball into the dirt and it rolls foul. Would have been a great idea. He's trying to get that ball down, move Reed holding around to third and get Brandon Daniels going to first. We're one ball and two strikes. Pitcher's advantage. Let's see if Brandon Daniels can key in on one here. Move Reed Holman around. Here comes a pitch. Oh! Had to reach out for it. That's going to be an out. So the Red Raiders record the first out Number of the inning. Bats. Reed Holman still in scoring position. Left-handed, big, good-looking, scrappy kid here. Austin Bats. Here, one. Austin Bats, not rattled by that. Steps back into the batter's box, digs his cleat into the orange dirt. He's ready for action. Out of eye contact with the pitcher. Here comes the ball. Called for strike number two. No balls, two strikes. Puts Bio Academy at a precarious situation here. A lot of pressure on the batter. Let's see if the pitcher is going to give him anything to look at. He's going to have to defend the plate, though. Reed Holman setting on ready. Austin bats. Looking for the pitch. Time call for Austin Bats. I want to take a little bit better look at it. Loosen up a little bit. Got frozen by the pitcher. Wanted to take control of the plate. Here comes Austin Bats. You can hear a pin drop. Here comes a pitch. Three. Man, oh man, that ball did look like it tailed off the outside corner of that plate, but the umpire nonetheless, Number 21, he Wendell. rings him up with a strike, and that will be the second out of the inning as a Bio Academy Colts still have a man in scoring position. Two outs, top of the third. Marshall Weaver, your batter. Number 21. Marshall wanted to jump on that one. He, held, he holds back. That ball is high and inside. Marshall Weaver seems to be relaxed at the plate. Always a good sign to see. Just one hard hit and the Bio Academy coach can take that lead. Reed Holman ready to bounce. Nobody holding him on. Here comes the pitch. Ball two. Fires it in there for ball two. Two balls, no strikes. The Red Raiders are looking for the final out of the, evening, of the inning. It's two outs. Game is tied at one to one. Balls, one strike. Marshall Weaver takes that one right over the plate. Calm, cool, and collective looks of Marshall Weaver. Nobody holding him on. Here comes a pitch. Behind the batter. Reed Holman will wind up at third. He is 90 feet away from taking the lead. Good heads up play by Reed Holman as he trots down to third base. Marshall Weaver, three balls, one strike. The pressure now has returned to the Red Raider side of things. Three balls and one strike, two outs. Here comes a pitch. Ball four. 
Runners on the corner, runners on the corner, and guess what? Surprise, surprise, we have Brazier Cox, our four-hole hitter, up. So the Bio Academy Colts are in prime position. The Red Raider coach will take a little bit, trot out to the mound to talk it over with his pitcher. Don't want to get anything silly here. Got Marshall Weaver at first base, Reed Holman at third base, and at the plate, number six, Brazier Cox. These are the moments that Brazier has been looking for. You know, you go out and you practice, you, you get in the cage, you do soft tosses, you practice all year long, just waiting to get in the game to where you can crack the game open. And this is one of those games. You can crack the game open right here with just a base hit. Reed Holman's gonna trot in if you can do that. And Marshall Weaver may get himself in the scoring position over at second. I'm sure D. Haynes is thinking about that as well. So let's how this, see how this unfolds. Here we go. Big number six, Brazier Cox, sitting on ready. Digs his cleat into the red clay, and here we go. Fastball with a strike. He digs it down. Whoo! I'll tell you what, good attempt right there. Marshall Weaver comes sliding in hot and heavy under the glove, and he is safe. Two men in a scoring position now with the Brazier Cox at the plate. No balls, one strike. The Red Raiders trying to record the final out of the inning. Can they do it against Brazier Cox? Boom! Brazier Cox hits it. Comes off the dirt and into his thigh or his arm. I couldn't tell where it hit him. Maybe in his, doesn't matter. He fired that ball off. He's falling behind in the count. It's no balls, two strikes. Pitcher's advantage. One crack of the bat, though, can score two runs for the Bio Academy Colts. Let's get ready. Here comes Brazier, number six. There it is. He gets the ball hard. Oh, off the foot of the second baseman in Brazier Cox. He gets what the doctor has ordered, two runs for the Bayou Academy Colts. That will take the lead to three to one. And listen, how about a big round of applause for Brazier Cox? It was hot and heavy. The no ball, two strike pitch in Brazier. He gets a hard hit, too hot to handle for the second baseman. And Brazier Cox scores the two runs much needed by the Bio Academy Colts. Clears the bases. Brazier is at first. Your batter is Harden, number 17. Ball high and inside. Spencer takes it off. He can do himself a favor here. Try to get some more runs. He is the pitcher for the Bio Academy coach today. Let's see if he can help himself with the bat as well. Done a fantastic job pitching. There's the pitch. He gets a hit. It's a chopper. The third baseman reaches. He gets it. He fires it over, and it is in time for to record the last out, but not before the Bio Academy Colts can take the lead. It's three to one for your Bio Academy Colts. We will return shortly.
We are back live from Kirk Field at Kirk Academy, where the Bio Academy Colts have just taken the lead. It's a three to one lead in the bottom of the third inning. Brazier Cox came through with a big hit, along with Reed Holman had a lead off hit to put himself in scoring position. Marshall Weaver came in and Marshall Weaver and Reed Holman both scored. Bring the score to three to one. Here comes a pitch from Spencer Harden. It's a hit. Deep, deep, and it's Carson Allen. Carson Allen makes the catch. Looked like a gazelle trotting across a field out there. He sticks his glove in the air, and the first pitch is recorded as an out for the inning. And that will help your Bio Academy Colts. One down in the bottom of the third. Good pitch, foul ball. That foul ball sponsored by Robert McCarrell. No balls, one Coach. strike. Lead off hitter for the Red Raiders. Number four is in position. Infield, ready to play. Here it comes, here comes the pitch. Whoa, catches him in the shoulder. It's gonna be a hit batter and he will trot down to first base. And the Red Raiders have a man on base. Number five, Noah Jackson. Your Bio Academy infield, Ryan Dawson, Mallet at third, Bo Lankas at shortstop, Marshall Weaver at second base, and Brazier Cox, your first baseman. And behind the plate, Austin Batts, number 11. On the mound, of course, number 17, Spencer Harden. Whoo! That ball had some Bad intentions on it. May just been just a little above the belt line. Recorded as a ball. One and one. There's a good pickoff move. Spencer Harden had him in his sights. Just missed him. Gets back to the bag by a fingernail. Number two hole hitter, number five for the Red Raiders. Standing in the box and he takes a strike. Fouls it off into the dirt. One ball, one strike. <laughs> Gonna have to make a play here. Maybe Bio Academy can double them up. They hit it into the heart of that infield. Let's see what happens. Good pitch. It's into the infield. They score for the double play. Marshall Weaver, it's going to be an error on Weaver as it gets through the defense. Rolls back to the back of the dirt. Both runners are safe. Man on first and second. Tying run is at first base. Your score three to one. One out in the bottom of the third. Looking for a force out at third here. Ball low. One ball, no strikes. Bio Academy. They have the lead in this game, trying to battle through the third inning. They have allowed two Red Raiders on board. They're looking for a big play for their number three hitter, who is number three for the Red Raiders. There's the pitch, it's going to deep. Oh, couldn't get there. The ball just fell back over the shortstop position out towards left field, just where no one was. And that's going in for a base hit. It cannot and that is going to be three balls and three men on base. Bases are loaded. One out. Bow Academy. No Oh, what the f*** is 
And we are back. Deep, deep, deep ball. This ball could go out. Oh, it is hit up against the wall. A tough catch. Tough catch. Reed Holman out in left field. That ball was a moon ball. And they're going to score. Three runs in the inning have scored just like that. We were with you earlier. The Bow Academy Colts were up three to one. Now they are down four to three. With some tough play. Now the Red Raiders getting hot for that baseball bat. My goodness. We're having a meeting of the minds at the mound. Calling it up. Red Raiders have taken a one-run lead. If you've just joined us, we've had a good battle out here in Grenada, Mississippi. The Bio Academy has been started off with a lead of one to nothing. The Red Raiders battled back, tied the game one to one. Bio Academy went up three to one, and just now with bases loaded. The Red Raider hit one off of the left field wall. Scored enough runs to take the lead here. It's four to three. The Red Raiders of Kirk over the Bio Academy Colts. Here we go. No balls, no strikes, one out. Force play at third. Here we go. There's a swing and a miss. Just what the baseball gods were looking for. No balls, one strike, one out. Spencer Harden is on the mound. Gets the sign. There's the pitch. Good pitch. Best pitch all night is a slider from Lynn Harden's son, Spence. Here we go. No balls, two strikes. Let's see if he gets in anything to look at. Balls hit right back up the middle. Pitcher's coming down off of the mound. Knocks it down, but not in time. We have the bases are loaded once again. Battle Academy in a world of trouble here. Going to have to record an out to get this thing under control. Number eight is your batter for the Red Raiders. Bases are loaded. Infield's in. Battle Academy Colts down by one. Let's go, Colts. Make a play, make a play. He nails it, way deep. It's Brandon Daniels. He gets it, he's firing it in. He's going to try to get him at three. There's the throw. Run will score, runs it up to five to three. The out was recorded, so two outs. In the bottom of the third. Your hometown Colts are down five, two, three. Number two of the Red Raiders up to bat. Second base is open. Men on the corners for the Red Raiders, first and third. Two down. Yeah. 
Spencer Harden brings the heat, hits that outside corner. He just paints it. Steerike, one. No balls, one strike. Trying to record the final out of the inning. There he is. Good pitch right there. Steerike, two. Bearing down on him is Spencer Harden, number 17. Good pitch. No balls, two strikes. Still early in this game. It's only the bottom of the third inning. Bio Academy Colts poised to record that third out. Man on third, man on first. Here comes the pitch. Oh, I'm going to tell you what, that was a good one. One ball, two strikes. It's going to go down as a ball, but tell you what, that was a good looking pitch. right three he puts the slider on him and spencer harden he comes through in the clutch striking out the batter at the plate but not before the damage has been done the red raiders have taken the lead five two three as we will be getting the fourth inning shortly you are listening to the bayou academy sports network All right, we are back. The Red Raiders have switched pitchers. It'll be number 16 is on the mound. Pretty good looking kid. Here comes a throw down. Bo Linkus, number one, is at the plate. Bo Linkus. Number one, Linkus. Shortstop for the Bio Academy Colts. He's taking his place in the batter's box. He is ready for the pitch. Oh, swing and a miss. Starts him off with a fastball down the heart of the plate. Just missed it. The good, nice looking cut. Just missed the ball. Derek, number two. No balls, two strikes. Slider snapped in there for strike two. There's a hit. Bo Linkus hits it to third. The third baseman picks it up. And he tags him out. Records the first out of the inning. Pretty good play by that third baseman. He snags that up. It was a Number 15, Allen. real hard hit ball down third. Give credit to the third baseman. He picks him up and fires him out at first. Bo Linkus was up against the wall with that one with no balls and two strikes. He got a piece of it, but he was thrown out at first base. Number 15, Carson Allen for the Bio Academy Colts. 
your right fielder. Hard cut by number 15, Carson Allen. Carson Allen, his dad, Clint Allen, played at the Tulane Green Wave. Let's see if that Green Wave magic can rub off on Carson here. Need to get him aboard. Number 15, Carson Allen. Swing and a miss. No balls, two strikes. The Red Raider pitcher has come in and he's thrown a lot of strikes here on the first two batters. Let's see if Carson Allen can get some magic going. Ball broke in right across the plate, caught him looking. Two down. Top of the fourth, two down. Bio Academy, got to get back in the groove to things. The old momentum has changed here. Number 13, Ryan Dawson Mallet, up to bat. Starts him off with ball one. No strikes. Ryan Dawson's last at bat went for a single over second base. Takes two balls in the first two pitches, though. Two balls, no strikes. Ball high. Three vote. Just need a base runner. We can get him on base. We'll have Big Reed Holman coming up, who singled his last time at bat. 3-0. Right down Main Street. Had to take it looking. One ball. Three balls. One strike. Hey, right, here we go, Rhino. Ryan Dawson settles in. There it is, he nails it. It's in the hole, it's in the long gap. He's running for it. Ryan Dawson Mallet is rounding first. He's headed to second base. He will be stand up double as he crushes the ball in the gap. Great piece of hitting for number 13, Ryan Dawson Mallet. Coach D likes what he sees on that play. Gives him a clap and the fans go wild. Good hit for number 13. And now up for Bio Academy Colts is number 12, Reed Holman. Reed singled on his last time at bat. He can drive this run in, a much needed run for the Bio Academy Colt faithful. Boom! There it is. He's coming in for it. Is it down? It's going. To Oh my goodness, what a play out in right field. The Red Raider comes up. It looks like the ball is going to fall in for a base hit. He gets his glove just beneath it, and that's going to be recorded as an out. Good play by the right fielder. Reed Holman comes up and smashes the baseball, but it's just not to be. The run will be left stranded at second, and the top of the fourth inning is over for the Colts. It will remain the score of five to three, but we saw a little life out of the Colts there, and that's what we're gonna need. We're gonna need some spark, we're gonna need some life, and the Colts have got to stay in this one. Spencer Harden has pitched a great game. He's still on the mound, under control. Had a nice slider going. His fastball's getting in the upper 80s, and he's looking good. My goodness, the Colts are hanging in there, buddy. Just inches away there. That could have been danger for the Red Raiders. Hey, drop and drive, drop and drive. A lot of times in baseball, you have to have the momentum switch. It switched as Bio Academy were leading three to one, and it switched over to the Red Raiders. It started to come back here for the Colts, and that's what we're looking for. We're looking for that transition of momentum get these Bio Academy Colts back into the ball game. One of the best catchers in the league, Austin Bats, number 11. Trying to get some life back in these Colts. Number 12 for the Red Raiders is up at Leading bat. For Kirk, number 12, Aiden Noah. Aiden Noah, number 12 for the Kirk Red Raiders. 
the first back. Where was the money? Yeah, that shit keep coming and coming. Been through the thing, I get rag on the rag, I be dumbing and dumbing. I did a show about a case on the road, I ain't running from nothing. Ball high. We're in that fourth inning stretch here. There it is. Ho! Oh, down the line. Good base hit right over third base out into left field. Here comes the throw. It's in. He is safe. Lead off double by number 12 of the Red Raiders. Number four, Anthony Corolla. Courtesy runner of the catcher, number 13, Jace West. Lead off batter for the Red Raiders, number four. Holds him on at second. Here comes the pitch. No. Pulled off on it. They're going to call it a ball. One ball, one strike. No strikes. Looks like he was squared up to bun. He must have pulled back just in time. It looked like a strike from that position. There's the play. Third baseman traveling in. Got him, baby! What a play! Number 13 comes up and scoops it up. He fires it to first base to Brazier Cox. For the out. Woo! Bang, bang. Number five, Noah Johnson. Man on third, threatening to score. One out. A lot of chatter from the Red Raider dugout. Strike one. That will quieten down the dugout over there as Spencer Harden Fires the ball across the plate for a strike. No balls, one strike. One out in the inning, in the bottom of the fourth inning here. Red Raiders leading it five to three. It's a pop up deep to the second base. What? What? The ball evidently was lost in the clouds of the outfield. You had the second base, the right fielder, and the second baseman and the center fielder. The ball landed in between them. All I can imagine is that the ball got lost into the sky somewhere, and that's going to give the Red Raiders another run. Can't afford to give up many of those. It's six to three is your score. Six to three is your score. Number three for the Red Raiders are coming in for the bat. One out in the inning. Man on first. <laughs> Battle Academy needs a double play. Pretty good heat on that one from Spencer Harden. Just a little high. Hey, here goes Spence. Fly ball into the infield. He's out at second. Number 10, Bow Academy are getting the first game jitters out of their system. We've had several errors over the last couple of innings. Just got to settle down and play baseball. We still wind up recording the out at second base. Two down in the bottom of the fourth inning. Holds the man on it first. Here comes the pitch. No runner. Number 10 for the Red Raiders up to bat. Big left-hander. Scrappy athlete right there. 
As the sun sets in the hills of Grenada, right, here we go once the temperatures drop down. The Iowa Academy Colts are not only battling the Red Raiders, they're battling the weather conditions as well. There's the pitch, it's a foul ball. That foul ball sponsored by Amy McLean, Memoir and Company. Here comes the pitch. One ball, one strike. Oh, wait, Blue. Hey, win this pitch, one seven. Two balls, one strike. Spencer Harden is controlling the inning here. Two outs, man on first base. Red Raiders leading six to three. Here comes the pitch from Spence. Right down Main Street. It's a good base hit. Here comes Carson Allen running in. He's firing the ball. It's coming in to third. Not in time. A double. For the Red Raiders, Lane Gold. man on second and third, and they are in scoring position once again. Red Raiders have men in scoring position at second and third. Here comes number six. He stepped into the batter's box. Here comes the pitch. Right down Main Street, Spencer Harden jumps on it and takes the lead. Strike one. Bow Academy is going to have to stiffen up right here. They can't afford to give up any more runs. They're down six to three in the bottom of the fourth. Going to have three bats remaining after this inning gonna have to get hot and I mean quick. Austin Bats talks it over with Spencer Harden. Let's see if they can get their signals together here. No balls, one strike. Hey, let's go Spence. Someone's gotta make a play right here. Record this last out. In the dirt. Good job, Bat. Good save by Bats. He comes up and digs that ball out of the dirt. Good play from your catcher, number 11, Austin Bats. Two balls, one strike. Hey, Barrett, one seven, Barrett. Men in scoring position. Holds the runner on. Here comes a pitch. That's a good pitch right there. Spencer Harden showing his worth right there. He bears down, puts that ball right across the plate. One ball, two strikes. And a much needed out of the inning. Two down. There's the signal from Bats. Hey, win right here, 17. And here comes the pitch. That's a good pitch. Woo, he wanted it. It goes outside. Nobody hurt. Two balls, two strikes. Spencer Harden ahead in, ahead in the count. Two balls, two strikes, two outs. Red Raiders are threatening once again. The Bio Academy Colts have their backs against the wall. Spencer Harden on the mound, and here comes the pitch. Woo, he wanted it in. Not a bad pitch. Headed up about a little above belt high and a little outside. It's a full count. Spencer Harden looking for the signal from Bats. Bats calls the signal in. Coach D paces back and forth, and here comes the pitch. Ha! That's what you want to see, buddy. The Bayou Academy Colts, they won't back down. They come in with a thunderous third strike to end the inning. At the end of four, and the Red Raiders leave two stranded 
It could have went to eight to three, but Spencer Harden with good, solid pitching gets them down and it's only six to three. The Bio Academy is only down by three runs. We're coming into that fifth inning. Get ready. We are ready. Joey Mallett, Lake Cox, right here from Kirk Field. You got a good game going here. Kirk Raiders lead it six to three against your Bio Academy Colts. Brandon Daniels, your leadoff batter, number 27, is up to bat. Time is called by Rodney Martin as he's running around to get into his first base position. A little late. I guess we'll call that a run. <laughs> ball, one ball, one strike. Bio Academy needs to get back in this game. One way to do that would be get the speedster on to base. Brandon Daniels can fly. Need to get him on first base to get some action going. There's a hit, it's a hammer over the third base in, into the gap. And just what the Bio Academy Colts needed, base hit for Bio Academy, number 27, Brandon Daniels. I like that. I'm telling you what, these Bio Academy Colts are not backing down. They're going to get some people in scoring position, see if we can't get this thing back all knotted up. Down by three at the moment. No outs. There's the pickoff move. Not to be. Brandon Daniels is a 40-yard sprinter. Good move by the pitcher there. Still late. Trying to move Brandon Daniels around. There's a hit down the line. Oh, just misses the chalk. Man, oh, man. Austin Bats swinging that bat with a vengeance. I think he's still mad about that last at bat. Didn't get any favorable calls, but this time he's not waiting on that. He comes on the attack. And there he goes. Brandon Daniels is on the run. And he takes second by storm. Now, now what we have here is a good situation. Number 11, Austin Bats, a very good hitter. We have a man in scoring position. We're trying to get back in this one. Red Raiders up six to three in the top of the fifth. Laser focus from Austin Bats. And they're gonna go ahead and walk Austin Bats. They, they saw too much there. He's, 
bat was looking pretty good. It was hitting on the barrel of the bat. Aiden Morganelli, number three, will come in to run. Now, let me tell you something. As I said earlier in the game, these two were on base earlier. Just the fastest speed in the school is on base now. Aiden Morganelli at first, Brandon Daniels at second. Who is up? Ha. Number 21, Marshall Weaver. Marshall Weaver digs his cleats into the dirt. He is ready. You can see the adrenaline flowing. Bio Academy is on a roll. Ball! Hi! I'm telling you, when that old momentum changes, it's hard to stop, and Bio Academy has it on their side presently. Man on first, man on second. Number 21, Marshall Weaver at the plate. Here comes the pitch. Boom! Oh, my goodness. Bang, bang. There was the pitch. Marshall Weaver came around, squared up on it, and just got under the ball. That one was sell foul for strike number one. One ball, one strike. The Bio Academy Colts. Red Raiders are back on their heels. Tying run is at the plate. Marshall Weaver can do some damage here with the hit. Whoa! He's going to call that a strike, but let me tell you, that ball was still inside, just brushed up against his jersey. He's going to get the strike, though. Ball one, two strikes. There's the hit. He gets it down. It's going to try and go for a double play. No, he goes to get it first. He gets Marshall Weaver at first, but he moves the runners around into scoring position. Good piece of batting there for number 21, Marshall Weaver. Man, oh man. Last time at bat, Marshall Cox brought in a two RBIs from a man on second and a third. They're going to go ahead and walk Marshall Cox. That's the second batter of the inning that has been walked by the Red Raiders on intention. That will load up the bases. Of course, it will give more force outs for Red Raiders. And that's probably a smart move on them. They're going to leave it up to Spencer Harden, number 17. And we're going to see right here if Spencer Harden can take some aluminum and do some damage. There it is right there, baby. Right there for the Bio Academy coach. That's what I'm talking about. They walked around. Let's recap here. They walked around. They walked Austin Bats. They walked Brazier Cox to get to number 17, Spencer Harden. And what does he do? He makes them pay for it. He puts the aluminum on the bat, drives it into center field, and the run has scored. Six to four is your Bayou Academy score. And guess what? The big hurt, Bo Linkus, is at the plate. This guy can swing a piece of aluminum, folks. Let's see if he can get it done right here with bases loaded and put these Bio Academy Colts back in the top spot where they should be all day long. My goodness, what a turn. That old momentum gets to going, and the Bio Academy Colts are ready for the challenge. Here it comes. Ball way outside. Two balls, no strikes. Two balls, no strikes. The pitcher has fallen in behind in the count. And this is not a position the Red Raiders thought they would be in right now. They're back on their heels. Bo Linkus is at the plate. Number one, big Bo Linkus. Boom! Down the line! There it goes! Here comes the run from second. He's going to score! And in the home he comes is Razor Cox. And the game is tied. One stroke of the bat. And the Bayou Academy Colts have put the hurt on the Red Raiders of Kirk. Six to six is your score, and the Bio Academy Colts are right back in the swing of things, just like that. It doesn't take much. You could have quit and went home and packed your bags and went home, but the Bio Academy Colts have decided to stay and play ball. Six to six is your score. What a piece of batting that was. Number 15 now, Carson Allen for the Bio Academy go, Colts is taking the box. Carson Allen could crack the safe right here. All he needs is a base hit and we will score the man from second. He bunts it down. Very good play for Carson. Oh, he trips what a baby. Oh, yes. You got to be loving this from home. If you're at home, you got to give a big round of applause for the Bio Academy Colts. Carson Allen lays down the perfect bunt, moves the men around, and 
can is safe at first base. You don't get that very often, but in this case, we've got it. The Bio Academy Colts have come around and guess who is up? Number 13, Ryan Dawson Mallet. He is two for two on the day and the Kirk Raiders have no choice but to pitch to him because the bases are loaded. My, oh my, how the tables have turned. Ryan Dawson Mallet can break this game open with a good solid hit and take the lead. It's six to six in the bottom of the fifth with number 13, Ryan Dawson Mallet up to bat. He's relaxed. He looks at the pitcher, the pitcher looks back. He's dug his cleats into the dirt of Kirk Academy. Boom, there it is right up the middle and he's going three, four, three. Great piece of work of hitting by Ryan Dawson Mallet. Bam, just like that. Two runs scored. My goodness, what a hit, what a clutch hit that was. With the bases loaded, that's what you want to see from a young Bayou Academy Colt. Number and 40, now Holman. none other than Reed Holman, number 12, a left-handed big hit, the big hurt right here. Reed Holman, if he can do some damage with the bat, we got the men on the corners, a man on first, a man on third, and Reed Holman, number 12, is up. And this game has flip-flopped. Bio Academy is up by two, and we're waiting on the bat of one Reed Holman. The pitcher looks at the target, fakes it. He tries to do a quick fake. I'm going to tell you what, the pitcher has a good move, and he almost put it into perfection, but not to be. Reed Holman looking for that crack of the bat that will break this game even further open. Man, you've got to be excited watching. The there it is! Wow! Woo! Reed Holman comes around with some bat speed. He was right on it. Laser focused is Reed Holman. Hey, back and bang, 12, back and bang. Left-handed Lee Reed Holman at the plate. All right, Reed, let's get it. It's a stare down from the pitcher. He gets the call from the plate. There is a throw to first, not in time. Man, oh man, how about those Bio Academy Colts? What a way to start the season off. Eight to six lead right here in the bottom of the fifth inning. Make it the top. Ball. Good eye. One and one. Hey, here we go. Reed Holman not rattled at all. Hey, let's go, Holman. Very calm. Calm, cool, and collective at the plate. Bow Academy trying to move the runner around. Let's see if Reed can crack one. Boom! There it is. Right there. Oh, he gets the run in, and he is safe at first. Good hit by Reed Holman. He scores the run. He moves the runner home. That's what you want to see. It is nine to six. How about a round of applause for number 12, Reed Holman. Wow. The Bio Academy coach started the inning off down by three, and now they have flip-flopped it up by three. Brandon Daniels at the plate, number 27. Boom! It's deep, it's deep, it's real deep. Bam! Skits under it, and the Bayou Academy Colts have come in and did some major damage. Major damage. They put that aluminum on the Red Raiders, and the Red Raiders don't seem to like that very well. We will return to the bottom of the fifth inning shortly.
And we're now in the bottom of the fifth. We have a new pitcher in the game. It is number 21, Marshall Weaver. One and one is your count. Bio Academy is trying to take over the fifth inning. They're leading the game nine to six. That was a strong pitch just off the corner. They're going to call it a ball, but it looked very good. Two balls and one strike is your count. He's missing, but not hey, missing far. Here we go. Win this pitch. Marshall Weaver. He rock. Full count. Marshall Weaver comes in with the full count, trying to record the first out of the inning. The Bio Academy coaches are leading this one. Nine to six. He goes. Boom! Number 20 is headed back to the dugout. What a pitch. Oh, Lacey Littles. Boy, he's come in with some fireballs. Nine to six is your score. Bio Academy has turned the corner here. Let's see if they can record a second out. Ball one. One ball, no strikes. Man, if you didn't arrive over to Grenada this evening, you are missing a classic. Yeah! Marshall Weaver comes over the middle of the plate with him. That's just mano a mano. He just challenges him with the fastball. Two balls and one strike is your count. Hey, it's a good spot. Good the spot. sun has set over at Kirk it's Academy. Like play right the here. temperature has dropped down to very low, but the Bio Academy Colts are hot. It's deep, crack of the bat, and Reed Holman. He saw it. He came up. He bounced back. He did the two-step, and bam, he records the out. Two outs. No balls. No strikes. Two outs. And to tell you what, that ball must have had some movement on it as he took a couple steps back and a couple steps forward. Nonetheless, he records the out. The Bio Academy Colts are trying to close out this fifth inning. There's the fastball. And he caught it. It's a rocket to third as Spencer Horton comes up with the ball. And that will end your inning and the Bayou Academy Colts dominate number five, six runs to none. And the Bayou Academy Colts have gone from a frown to a smile, back in the lead. That's where you want to be. You always want to be on top.
So. Top of the sixth inning. Who's at bat? None other than number 11, Austin Bats. The key to victory is in the bat. There it is. Ho! Oh! Heads up over there in the dugout. That ball zoomed past Jason Harris. He looked like a deer in the headlight. Way to protect each other, guys. Lucky. Austin bats with the golden bat. One ball, one strike. They walked in the last at bat. He's up and ready. He's ready to drive one. No, ball two. He didn't want that one. Ball was high and outside. Austin bats. I'll tell you what, that kid has a lot of skill. Pitcher looking for a signal, trying to freeze him in the box. He's not having any part of that. Steps out. Now he's ready. Boom! Woo! He went for all of that one. He was looking for the deep ball there. Good bat speed. He comes around on it, just clips it for a foul ball. Two balls and two strikes. And Austin Bats hangs in there. Ball that ball hung up around that outside corner. Austin Bat cracks it foul. Two balls, two strikes. Let's try it again. Right, here we go, Bats. Number 11, Austin Bat stares him down. There's the pitch. He cracks it once again. He's all over the baseball. Looking to put it in the field of play. Two balls, two strikes. Your Bio Academy Colts winning the game. Nine, two, six. Happy to have you with us on the Bio Academy Sports Network. Lynn Harden and Lake Cox put together a new camera system this year, hoping to give you a better picture from home make your game a little more enjoyable. Here comes the pitch. Full count, and he crushes another one, but it goes foul. That foul ball sponsored by Down Home Milling Company. Pretty pleased so far with the output of the Bio Academy Colts. Full count to Austin Bats. There it is. That's about the fifth foul. That foul ball brought to you by Joel Carson. He's not having a problem picking the ball up. Really working the pitcher out. He's thrown about 11 pitches on this one batter. He calls it strike three just off the outside corner. Gonna have to take his word for it. He is right behind the plate, so I'll give him the benefit of the doubt. Number 21, Weaver. Ball. Has it been favorable toward Austin Bats this evening? 21. Marshall Weaver. He gets all of it, but it goes. Foul just off the outside line in left field. Oh, Marshall Weaver, number 21. One out, top of the sixth inning for the Bio Academy Colts. Man, if you're just joining us, you have missed a good ball game, a lot of hits in this one. Bio Academy are leading nine to six. Another foul that ball. Foul ball sponsored by Yamato. The 
Bio Academy squad has come in hot and heavy, trying to get the seasoning opener. They want to get the first victory of the season and get that out of the way. Oh, looked like he clipped him on the leg. No, no call. One ball, two strikes is your count. Head coach D. Haynes looks on from third base. Coach's box. Sees Weaver hanging in, foul after foul, as did Austin Bats earlier. Head coach D. Haynes comes out of the Cardinal organization. Had the home run numbers at Delta State University. Marshall Weaver puts this one down. It's going way down the field and the right fielder makes a good play on it. He got a good jump, runs over to the side and records the second out of the inning. Here we go, B. Number six, Cox. I'll tell you what, it takes a lot of work to get these young men in baseball shape. We'll have to give a big thank you to Rodney Martin, D. Haynes, Brent Langston, Jason Harris, and others. Brazier Cox is up to bat That's number six. One ball, one strike. Colts lead nine to six. Here, right down Main Street. Here we go, B. One ball, two strikes. Two outs. Brazier Cox at the plate. Two and two. Brazier Cox eases into the box. He's ready for the pitch. Gets under it. It might stay in play, and it does. No. A no catch, he lost it in the light somewhere. Brazier Cox will get a second chance. Two balls, two strikes, two outs. In the top of the sixth inning, Coach lead nine to six. If you're watching from home, we're happy to have you with us on the Bayou Academy Sports Network. Brazier Cox gets a second chance here. Number six is ready. Here comes the pitch. Ball outside. That's going to make it full count. Three balls, two strikes. Hey, got to come see you right here. Bow Academy not done. Here comes the pitch. Oh, swing and a miss. Sets him down for the side, and that will be your third out. Oh. Bio Academy still leads oh. it as we move into okay. Okay. the bottom ah. of oh. the sixth inning.
calls it no pitch. Okay, that's all right. Am I on now? Back in action. Bow Academy up nine to six in this one. The Red Raiders number 13 up to bat. No outs. Bottom of the sixth inning. Three balls, no strikes. They're trying to get their first run on. They are down by three. Red Raiders desperate right here. Yeah. That's what you want to see. Marshall Weaver digs deep in the bank, fires a strike across the plate. Two. Red Raiders get their first run on base. And they're at the top of the order. That was batter number nine. Now we're at the top of the order, number four. Bio Academy just needs to record an out to get this thing started off right. Number four is at the plate. Pickoff move for Marshall Weaver. Over to Brazier Cox and back to Marshall Weaver. Here comes the pitch. Ball, height. Just need to try to keep it between the lines right here. Just a little relaxation. Just like that. That's what you want to see. It's easy as one, two, three. Ball one, strike one. All evened up. Marshall Weaver, they ask him to just rock and throw. Well, here comes the throw. Yeah, three, two. As the first out of the inning is recorded, that was batter number one, the leadoff batter, that Marshall Weaver comes in and sets down. Good pitch by Marshall Weaver. Second batter up. There's a deep hit to center field. It's to Brandon Daniels. He runs under it and catches the ball to record the second out of the inning. And Marshall Weaver throws the pitch there. One pump chump as the ball goes way out and he is called out. Bam. Two down for the Bio Academy Colts. Good pitching for Marshall Weaver, number 21. Gerrick. Third batter, number three for the Red Raiders. They've been in the game the whole night. The Bio Academy got, a, Colts have gotten a turn of momentum back in the fourth inning. And in the fifth inning, they took over. They were simply had a tremendous inning in the sixth. There's down the third baseline. It gets past Spence into left field. He's coming for third. Here comes the throw. He is safe. It's going to be recorded in as a double. They have a man on second and a third. That changes things as big number 10 for the Red Raiders. Their four hole hitter. Let's see if B. Haynes decides to walk the four hole hitter or are we going to pitch to him? Here it comes. No. Coach Haynes says throw it to him. Direct one. Hammers it down right over that outside corner for a good strike. The Bio Academy Colts. Man, oh man, did he miss that by just a millimeter, just to the outside. Pretty good pitch. Ball one, strike one. Number 10, left-handed for the Red Raiders are looking down the pitcher, and here comes the pitch. Gee! 
right, two, one ball, two strikes as Marshall Weaver accepts the challenge. He comes down and throws him another fastball on the outside corner, records it for a strike. And your Bio Academy Colts are down to this pitch. Two balls and two strikes. Man, you can feel the tension building as a Bio Academy is clinging to a three run lead, nine to six. Two outs in the bottom of the six. He swung. He, oh, you got to be kidding. Got to be kidding. He broke his stride. It looked as if he went to me, and they're going to go ahead. Ball three. Number six, Lane Gall. It says full count. Little confusion on the field between umps. They are all getting it settled down. It certainly looked like he broke the plane with his bat. They're gonna say it's a ball. That's gonna bring it to full count. Number 10 will march back up to the plate of the Red Raiders and Marshall Weaver. He shakes his glove, he looks at home plate. He gets the signal from bats. Here comes the pitch. score on an arrow. That will take the count to nine to eight and eat into that lead. Two runs will score. It was a high fly ball in the infield. And the Colts have had problems with that all night. I don't know if it's getting caught in the light or the night sky. Nonetheless, it's gonna be an error that's gonna score two runs. The score is now nine to eight. So we go from a pitch to where it looked like he broke the plane to get out of the inning to a crack where two runs score. Just inside, just inside. Ball two, two balls, no strikes. Bio Academy's gonna have to settle down here and get this last out to put us into the seventh inning. Three balls and no strikes. Trying to work through it. Bio Academy needs one out to get to the seventh and final inning. Marshall Weaver puts back in his gas tank and he fires a fastball right down the middle. Three balls, one strike. Number six of the Red Raiders will be walked. He will go to first base. Two men on, man on first, four, man on five, second five, as D. Haynes has decided to stroll out to the mound and have a conference with his pitcher and catcher. They say they're coming to get us in the tune that is playing. And it looks like that could be true at this moment. It's nine to eight. Bio Academy Colts are trying to pull out the old proverbial rabbit out of the hat. And the Red Raiders are not making it easy. So we're staying with them as D. Haynes has given his opinion, voicing his opinion to his infield. And he's just saying, hey guys, calm down, make the plays that you've been making in practice up to this point. And let's get out of here with a victory. The routine flies have got to be caught. The routine plays have got to be made. Let's look for a strike right here. No balls, no strikes, two outs. Marshall Weaver, let's see if the wisdom of D. Haynes gets him settled in. Right one. Fires it in right there. 
So that slowed the game down a little bit, get a little change of pace, and here comes pitch number two. A little bit outside. One ball, one strike is your count. As your Bio Academy Colts are battling, we're glad to have you with us. Hope you're enjoying this one. Your Colts are holding on to a one-run lead. Gee, right, number two. And we're right back to the same portion of the game that we've been in. B. Haynes cheers his team on. He says, hey, Marshall, do what you know how to do best, buddy. Be a winner. Come in and throw this strike. Set these Red Raiders down. Send them home packing. Here comes the pitch. Hey! Oh! My, oh, my. Well, hey, that looks sweet. It looks sweet. It's two and two. Two balls, two strikes. Marshall Weaver still in the lead. He's got the hot hand. Here it comes. It's in the gap. They're trying to tie the game. It's coming home. And that ball will be in the gap for a base hit. And that will tie the game at 9-9. Nine to nine. Woo! My. It's taking the emotions up. It's bringing the emotions down. And the Bio Academy Colts have got to get out of the inning. A man on first. A man on third. Marshall Weaver still on the mound. Austin Bats looks. He gets the signal. He talks to Austin Bats. He says, hey, let's settle in right here, baby. Right here. Let's get the job done. It comes a time to get the job done, and now is that time. Bottom of the sixth inning. Here comes the pitch. High fastball as he smokes it in. Number eight of the Red Raiders. Man on first and third, here it comes. The pinnacle of the game is in the balance. Right. Ball one, strike one. Marshall Weaver attacks the catcher with that pitch. And that's what you want to see right there. Ball one, strike one. The dugouts are both on their feet as Marshall Weaver gets ready for the pitch. Two balls, one strike. Nobody hurt. Looking for Weaver to come through right here. The Bio Academy infield has moved around. They're ready. Looking for that ball to get put into play. Ball number three. Three balls, one strike. Three balls and one strike. Takes a deep breath. Takes a look at the catcher's net. Brings it home. Right number two. Full count as Marshall Weaver reaches back in the well and comes up with a strike. Man, oh man. Bio Academy Colts. They're not ready to go home yet. Here comes the pitch. It is a long foul ball all the way down, about 310 feet down the left field side. It's going to go foul. The count remains full. Three balls, two strikes. It's just a long, long strike. Gives Marshall a little time to recoup, to do a little thinking, to pull out his best pitch right here. Number six is awaiting. He is out! The Red Raiders were looking for that one as a ball, but it was not to be. Marshall Weaver hits that outside corner, and he is out. Woo! Nine to nine. Three runs were recorded. The damage was done in the bottom of the sixth inning, and we're going into the final inning.
We are live. Welcome back to the Bio Academy Sports Network. We're live at Kirk Field. The score's nine to nine. We're in the last inning of play, the seventh inning, the seventh and final inning. The Red Raiders have switched pitchers. Number four is now on the mound, and he looked pretty good in the warmups. Number 17, Spencer Harden, is coming up to bat. In the last inning, Spencer got a base hit, score by a couple of runs. And we're going to need to reach down and pull out another hit here. Here comes Spencer Harden. Swing and a miss. Strike one. Good swing by Spencer Harden. Bo Lankus is on deck. And we're going to need some production out of these bats if we have entered into the final inning, the seventh inning, baby. Bio Academy Colts ready for action. Here we go. Spencer Harden looking to get a hit. Here comes the new pitcher. He winds up, he fires it. Oh! oh. Low and lean right there, low and lean. Pretty good cut. Hey, a lot of times you have to adjust to these new pitchers and he just might be locked in now. Here comes Spence. The no balls, two strikes. Oh. He is out. First out of the inning recorded. The ball's velocity is not what it once was from the other pitcher. They've had a change in velocity. A lot of times you have to get that rhythm changed down. Not an easy thing to do. Bo Lankus, I feel like Bo Lankus is fixing to put one off the wall. And there it is! Just as I called it, it's over! Oh my goodness, he did get all of it, but it goes about 345 feet. And the center fielder is there to record the out. Allen. Goodness gracious, he clocked it just as called. Hey, here we go, one five. The center fielder was there waiting. Carson two. Allen, number 15, at the plate. Ball outside, good eye for Carson Allen. Oh, Carson Allen. Very quiet guy. He's kind of don't say much, he's kind of quiet and shy. If he speaks at all, he just says, hi. Oh. Derek, number two. Number 15, Carson Allen, stands in. Ball goes outside. Two balls and one strike. I stand corrected. Two balls, one strike. Carson Allen in a good position here. Just needs to get on base. No, ball's high. Carson Allen, well taken ball. Three balls, one strike. Just need a base runner. We've got to get a run in to win this game. Scores all knotted up, nine to nine. It's been an exciting game. Swing and a miss. Goodness gracious, that's going to bring the count to full. Three balls and two strikes. Carson Allen with the pressure on now. Two outs, full count. Here comes the pitch. Boom! Carson Allen smokes it. That's what I'm talking about. And we have the winning run is on first base. Good hit by Carson Allen as he gets the barrel of the bat. And here comes number 13, Ryan Dawson Mallet, better known as Rhino. He's three balls. He is three for three tonight. Three times at bat, three base hits, and we need a big one right now. Got to get Carson out and around the base pads to the home plate for the victory. Number one three stands in. There goes the pickoff at first. Good pickoff move, but Carson Allen is too quick. He's back to the base, and he is safe. Number one, three, looking for his fourth hit. Here he comes. Nope, Carson Allen. Carson Allen trying to get in position over there to get him around so we can get this run in and take the victory. Not an easy task. Ryan Dawson Mallet has got the hot hand tonight. Waiting on the pitch. Nope. That's three in a row he's thrown to first base. See, they are very worried about Carson Allen getting over there into scoring position. Here we go. 
Number 13 comes in. He stands in tall. He's waiting for the pitch. Ball way outside. Don't look like he was trying to give him anything to hit. That ball was way outside. I'm not sure they're just not going to walk him on this. But let's see how it unfolds. Bio Academy Colts ready. Trying to take the lead here in the bottom of the seventh inning. Carson Allen getting a big lead at first. Here comes the pitch. Ball two. Oh, it's a big throw. And guess what? Guess what? Old D. Haynes has moved his man over into scoring position. And Ryan Dawson Mallet is up to bat. We need a sweet crack of the bat here to break this tie. It's 9 2 9. He's got that voodoo bat ready to go, that Demarini voodoo. Let's see if it can work some Louisiana magic right now. Two balls, no strikes. Mallet at the plate. No, that ball's inside. That's going to be three balls and no strike. Let's see. I still don't think they're really pitching the mallet. I think they've pitched around him. I think their intention all the time was to walk him. But hey, that's just me taking a guess. Let's see if it's here. The, he, D. Haynes, I think, gives him the swing away sign. Let's see if it happens. One. Three balls and one strike to Mallet. Carson Allen, fleet of foot. He is standing on second base. He's got a good lead. One crack of the bat could put Bio Academy into the lead. Let's see. The tension is building. Boom! Mallet hits a long fly ball. It's going deep, deep, deep to the left. And it is foul, which brings the count to full. Full count for Mallet. Three for three on the evening, and they're looking for that fourth hit. It could put the Bio Academy Colts over the top. Number 13 stands in tall. Carson Allen, number 15, standing in second base. The pitcher gets the call from the catcher. Everybody is set on go. Mallet looks relaxed. Ready for the pitch. And here comes your pitch for all you Bio Academy fans at home. This could be the ball game. He freezes the batter. He freezes the runner. Mallet steps out of the box smartly. Reset, refocus, laser focus. And he is ready again. The tension of this game, you can cut it with a knife. Allen gets a big lead again. He's going to have to try to get to the home plate. Mallet ready to stroke one. Full count, two outs. Bottom or top of the 70. In the dirt, it's down the third baseline, and he scoops it up. He fires it to first. And he's going to get Mallet out at first base. The ball was a little bit low. Mallet comes around with a bat and spanks it over to third. Third baseman scoops it up, and that will end your inning for the Colts. 9-2-9 nine nine is the score. My, my, my.
Welcome back. We're ready to roll right here with the bottom of the seventh inning with a tie, tie game, nine to nine. Foul ball, strike one. We have a new pitcher in the game. It's number 11, Austin Bats. He come in from the catcher position and he's going to be left to bring the team to victory. Number 11, Austin Bats. Right out of way. It's got that dugout fired up, the Red Raiders dugout. The coach is not happy for the Red Raiders. He's talking about something being physically impossible. D right D he is out as Austin Bats come in and made his presence felt with a cannon. My goodness, Austin Bats is on fire. That's a way to set him down. That's what you want to see if you're a Bayou Academy Colt. Red Raiders coach on thirds, not too happy. There's the pitch, it's foul ball. The Red Raiders dugout got real silent. They were wild, they were banging on the roof, they were kicking the fence, they were screaming, they're trying to rock the pitcher, but none of that static is getting through to Austin Bats. Here comes Bats with the pitch. Yeah, no balls, two strikes, one out. As Austin Bats have come in and he means business. Bad business for the Kirk Raiders. Got some bad intentions on that baseball. Austin Bat relaxed, gets the pitcher from Weaver. Yeah, right, number three. And that's the way you do it. You come in, you got the hot hand, and you fire strikes across there, and you set those Red Raiders on the bench. Great pitching for Austin Bats. Man. Austin Bats had a good year last year at the plate, on the mound, behind the plate, and looking like he's improved on that. He right. Ho! Oh, my man, come on, Blue. The Blue of Bayou could have used that one. They're going to call it the ball. Ball one, no strikes. Foul! Ball! ball brought to you by Red one and one. How on the hall. Austin Bats looks great on the mound. Reed Holman makes the play. Now that looked good, nice and smooth. He was on his horse. He was running across the left field and he eases under the baseball and squeezes it shut for the third out to put this game over into extra innings. We're going into the eighth inning now with a score of nine to nine. This is Bio Academy Baseball coming up for the eighth inning.
Now batting for the Bio Academy Colts is number 12, Reed Holman. Hey, listen to other batters box. Goodness gracious. A little bit outside, they're gonna call it a strike. Ball one, ball zero, strike one. One and one is your count. Number 12, Reed Holman up to bat. This has been a fantastic one. Sometimes you look back, way back in your past, and you think about sandlot baseball. I mean, just out there in the sunshine with the neighborhood kids, and you get nine to nine, and man, you're talking about a fun time. Strike number two. Ball one, strike two. And then, you know, your team comes up to bat. You got a man on third or in scoring position, and you get just feel the crack of that bat to win a game. And that's what we're looking for here. Good childhood memories right here at Bio Academy as number 12 is waiting on the pitch. The catcher decides to go out and have a little word with the pitcher. One ball and two strikes. May have saw something that he thinks the pitcher needs to be aware of. Red Raider number four is pitching. And number 12, Reed Holman. Everybody set again. Once again, Bio Academy has the opportunity to take the lead. Two balls and two strikes. That is your count. Look, this is the position you want to be in if you're a baseball player. Reed has been in this position many times before, excited for the opportunity to get a chance to crack one. Here we go. That's full count. If we can get Reed Holman on the base, the Bio Academy's Colts percentages to win this game goes up exponentially. Reed Holman digs in. Left-handed batter, here comes the pitch. He knocks it down the line, it might hit the line. Oh, just foul. Foul ball. He protected that plate well right there as Reed Holman pounds one down the third baseline. The count remains full, no outs in the inning. We are in the top of the eighth inning. We're in extra innings now. Reed Holman, number 12, is battling for a position at first base. And that's what you need right there, a good piece of bat work for number 12 as he runs down to first base and we have the winning run on first base. If you don't know the history on that, Reed Holman's dad, Spencer Holman, played at Delta State under Coach Marchant and Coach Kennison. There's a good baseball pedigree going on in the Reed Holman family. Gets him a good lead. Nope, nothing doing. You like to throw the ball away. Good hustle by Reed, back into position. Winning run for the Bio Academy Colts. He's at first base. Number 27, the leadoff batter, Brandon Daniels at the plate. Transferred over from North Sunflower Academy, superstar over there as quarterback, played baseball track the whole nine yards. Let's see if he can get a bunt down for the Colts. And he does it. He moves the man around into scoring position. Good bunt right down the line for Brandon Daniels. Good hustle. They throw him out at first, but that was the plan. Coach D calls the bunt. He bunts it down the third baseline, and Reed Holman is in scoring position for the Bio Academy Colts. We're going to need double digits to win this one. The score is nine to nine. Number 21, Batty. Marshall Weaver. Weaver. The battling Weaver right there. Here comes, here comes number three. Aiden Morganelli is a pinch runner for Austin Bats. They have decided to walk Bats and not pitch to him. They're pitching around him. And they're going to put uh, two men on for Bio Academy, one out in the top of the eighth inning. And this is Bio Academy's opportunity to excel. You dream about it. You wake up and you have these 
great wonders that you want to complete in your childhood. Well, here we go. You want to win the opening game of the high school season in 2023, this is what you have to do. Marshall Weaver is going to have to come in and he's going to have to have some major production right here. We got Brazier Cox in on deck circle. Marshall Weaver's at the plate. We'd like to see a good crack of the bat, just a good strong base hit here would put Bio Academy in an ultimate position. No, it's oh, it's a wild pitch. It was a wild pitch into the dirt. And the Bio Academy Colts have moved two men in the scoring position, a man on second, man on third. And this is what you want. Marshall Weaver, a dream weaver, is coming in to make his presence felt at Kirk Academy. And this is it. The Red Raiders are back on their heels once again. This is the way it's been all night. The pendulum has swung back and forth, back and forth. And the Red Raiders now, they decide to go ahead and walk Weaver. They're going to load the bases up. They think that's going to increase their chances of winning the game. The Red Raiders have made a good decision here probably. And they're getting a new runner. Here comes a runner, number eight. I'm not sure who number eight is for the Bio Academy Colts, but he is in to pinch run. Come on, Chick. Focus right here. That's what it's all about. They're leaving it up to Brazier Cox, number six. He's come through in the past. He's coming through in the last couple of innings with a couple of RBIs tonight. Brazier Cox, big left-handed Brazier Cox, is at the plate. The Bio Academy Colts have a Colt on every base, first, second, and third. The bases are loaded, and number six is standing in wait. Ball high for Fra Brazier Cox. Ball high. Brazier Cox, he is looking at the pitcher. He's got to be ready for that strike. Here he comes. Woo! Let it fly, baby! Let it fly! Come around! He waves him home, and here comes the run in the home. He is safe! 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 Two runs have scored for the Bayou Academy Colts. 11 to 9. Now the score. My goodness, Brazier Cox comes through in the clutch. He hits a seed over the second base into the center field and two runs score. What a hit by Brazier Cox. Number six. Good job. Bio Academy Colts now has Spencer Harden is at bat, number 17. Still trying to keep him alive. One out in the inning. Ball high. And you can tell you have the Red Raiders rattled. The Red Raiders are rattled. The Bayou Academy Colts have come in here and they put the aluminum on the ball. 11 runs already scored in this contest. We're in the top of the eighth inning. Brazier Cox at first. Number eight for the Bio Academy Colts are at second. Looking for another run. Spencer Harden. There's the pitch. He smashes it. It's going long foul. Long foul down the right field line. And that's going to be ball one, strike one for number 17, Spencer Harden. Man, what a game. How does it turn? This is what it's all about. Two men on. Brazier Cox at first, number eight at second. He's got a good lead over there. Spencer Harden looked to score another run. Here comes the pitch. Foul ball. Break two. One ball, two strikes right here at Kirk Academy in Grenada, Mississippi. Man, you should have been here. It's been fun. It's been real. It's been real fun. Here we go. Spencer Harden, number 17 at the plate. One ball, two strikes. Number eight is, uh-oh, uh-oh, it's an infield fly. Two, two outs. And I just figured out who number eight was. He's had a little off-season troubles. I think he's had a, some uh, medical issues going on, but he seems to be back and ready to roll now. I see him. That's number eight. That is Case Chacon, one of the Chacon brothers. And I'm going to tell you what, he's pretty fast now. He runs track. He plays all kind of different sports, football, baseball, track. He's a good athlete. If we need to get old K, 
Case Chacon. We need to get him around that base pad. I got it now. Here we go. Boom! Man, what a deep hit. It was Bo Linkus. He comes up, and I mean, he smacks the ball. Unfortunately, it went right to the center fielder, and that's going to end your inning, but not before the Bio Academy Colts could register two runs. 11 to 9, Bio Academy, bottom of the eighth inning. We are in the bottom of the eighth inning here at Kirk Field. Bio Academy can feel, they can taste victory. All they have to do is settle in, play a little ball. My goodness, if you're at home watching, what a treat. I'm telling you, buddy, this has been a good one. The Bio Academy Colts have come in in the eighth inning and take, got two runs. Austin Batts is on the mound, and he's ready to shut them down. Right one. How about that for a fastball? That looks around the high 80s right there in the fastball range. Hey, Walter Baseball, here we go. Good pitch. There we go. He's laid on the ball. That's strike number two. Austin Batts fires it in there. He means business. Bad business for the Red Raiders. He's ready to rock the Red Raiders. Ball none. Strike two. And there it is. He fires the ball in again, and he's real late on the ball. No balls. Two strikes. Hey, late. How many? How many people? I love you too, Greg. I love you too. Three! Three! Woo! Bow Academy Colt Baseball at its finest. Number. 11. You can feel the adrenaline flowing through his veins as number 11 circles the pitcher mound and walks back up on the rubber ready for action. Number three, he comes in and does a little, digs a little dirt, kicks it out of the box, and he is ready. Here comes Bats. Ball one. I'll tell you what, bats have come in hot and heavy. He's ready to end this one. Mm, just a tad high. Ball two, no strikes. One out, bottom of the eighth inning. There's a hit to the shortstop. Gets over his head. How about it, number 10? Gets over his head, the ball, they have a, yes, the runner is at first base. Red Raiders have a man aboard. One out, looking for the double play to end the game. Right, number one. Let's go Colts. That is the chant from the fans here at Kirk Field. Let's go Colts. Pickoff move to first base. Looking at number 10, he's been pretty solid batter all night long. He is the one earlier that got a single. 
One and one. That's your count. A lot of chitter chatter from the third base coach of the Red Raiders. Austin Batts trying to keep him guessing. Keep him close to the bag, Austin. Let's come in with a strike here, buddy. There's the hit. It's deep, deep, deep. It's going to be Reed Holman. Closes the glove on it. Snatches it out of the air. It looked like a replay from the inning before when they hit it out in left field. He looked like a gazelle running across, and he just squeezes the leather onto that ball for out number two. Number six. So Marshall Weaver takes this opportunity to walk out to talk to his pitcher, make sure the signs are in order, make sure everything's on the up and up, and just says, hey, guy, throw me a couple of strikes, and let's ride back to Cleveland, Mississippi with the big tool. Reap. The Bio Academy Colts are ready to finish. Let's see if they have the closing power. There it is right there. Deep ball, foul ball, ball, ball over the backstop ball. into the woods for strike number one. Man, the Bio Academy Colts have really battled in this one. This is a deep, long hit to try to tie the game. And it is a long foul ball. Hey, one crack of the bat could tie the game. You have the tying run at the plate. That's going to be no balls, two strikes, two outs. It's coming all down to this. We need a good pitch from Austin Bats. Put it on that, paint that outside corner of the plate, and let's go to the house. What is it going to be? Let's see. Number 11, he's ready. He's got his eyes focused on the mitt. He throws him a high fastball. That's a great 0-2 pitch. And that's exactly what you want to see. D. Haynes calls the high fastball, and that's exactly what he threw. Everybody's settled in. Hey, number three! And the Colts win! The Colts win! The Colts win! The sweet taste of victory! I know you're just excited as we are here at home. We appreciate you coming out to the Bio Academy Sports Network. That's Lake Cox and Joey Mallet live from the field. Congratulations to your Bio Academy Colts. See you tomorrow, 11 o'clock sharp. Congratulations to the coach. Victory.